Hello everyone and welcome to the PILS Automation Safety Training on the PILS PSAN OP2 line of light curtains. Our training today will be presented by one of our senior sales engineers, Rick Talbot. As a reminder, this is part of a uh, part three of a 15 part series of trainings we'll be presenting on the PILS products and services, as well as some coverage of safety standards. I hope you'll all plan on attending the full series of these trainings, and, and I hope that they'll prove to be valuable to you in learning more about machine safety and how PILS can help you achieve your overall machine safety goals. I'll mention briefly that the servers for all online meetings have been quite taxed in recent weeks, so should we experience any technical difficulties during the presentation, I'll simply restart the meeting and you can all rejoin, at which time Rick would just pick up where he left off. With that, I'll now hand it over to Rick Talbot to begin our presentation. Rick? Hey, thanks, Ben, for that introduction. Again, hope everyone is doing well today. And I am Rick Talbot, OEM Team Specialist for Pills Automation Safety. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for joining me today on my PSEN Op 2 light curtain training, which will cover the PSEN Op 2, PSEN Op Slimline, and the PSEN that advanced series of light curtains. Before we get into before we get into all those light curtains, I'd just like to remind everybody that Pills Automation has a full line of all your safety products for anything you may need, such as coated door slit switches, coated safety door locks, both non-contact and the mechanical style. We have a full line of safety controllers up to a full-blown safety PLC with HMI and your e-stops and almost all your and all your safety product needs. But today I'm here to discuss our PSEN op safety light curtain, which can be divided really into three separate product groups we have, which are the PSEN op 2, the PSEN op advanced and the PSEN op slimline. Shown here in this slide, pretty much could be the only slide you need to start your application. But to start with, we'll discuss the PSEN op 2 light curtain, which is really our heavy duty all around light curtain, which would fit into most all of your light curtain applications you may need. So really, this one here is the go-to light curtain for most of what you may need. It comes in a type three style light curtain for your performance level D application, safety application, and a type four light curtain, which is meant for your performance level E safety application. It comes in finger, hand, and body protection. And it comes with uh, some pretty good detecting distances. The hand has an 18 meter range, is pretty long. The finger um, just comes in eight, an eight meter range, but the body protection comes with a whopping 55 meter range, which is better than a half a football field. And then some of the other features I'm going to discuss are the 510 quick disconnect, which is also compatible with our PDP 67, which I will discuss. And then is a very robust light curtain. And I have a video I'll show a little bit later where it can handle a 50G hammer strike. And then also I will discuss coding and what that application can do. And then some of the benefits you get with it, um, getting up to performance level E with the light curtain is the highest amount of safety you can get. Um, and then also just the robustness of it. You know, 50G's worth of force, you know, can handle a good deal of shock, might be able to take a certain amount of collision. So if you're, and, and vibration, so if you're mounting this on a press or, you know, some kind of vibratory feeder or something that just takes a lot of, a lot of shock or takes a lot of wear and tear, hopefully something with this amount of, can handle this amount of force will last a lot longer and lead to a lot less downtime. Um, Coating that I'm going to discuss later uh, allows for no interference. And I'll discuss what that is, but that's basically aligning light curtains and a fence style. And just pills being a one stop shop. Uh, we can come to you for all the components you may need. And then um, myself, I am a 
certified machine safety expert, as a lot of our salesmen do go through this training. We can help you not only with your components, but also steer you to possible services you may need and making sure those components are applied correctly. And then the biggest uh, benefit is the PDP wiring solution on a 510 quick disconnect that allows you to install everything on a quick disconnect, which means you're going to save a bunch of time in wiring these things up. So instead of having to use screw terminals and screw everything in in the panel, it could all just be on quick disconnect blocks that would look just like this. So right down here, you can see in the corner, I have a light curtain, and that actually would be a pair of light curtains into one port of our PDP quick disconnect block, which fits into this T connector. So you, again, you fit a pair of light curtains into one PDP port. And this port right here then goes into our, P, our PNOS multi safety controller, which handles all not only light curtains, but it can handle an array of safety devices, which if you tune into the training on May 5th, we'll get into greater detail on that. But for now, just remember that um, light curtains could be uh, all quick disconnect into these blocks back to a safety controller. And on that date, you'll see how the PDP could save you a bunch of time and wiring uh, for all for additional safety components that we offer. Uh, moving along, um, this is the robustness of the PSEN Op 2 light curtain I discussed. If you go on YouTube and do a search for Phil's safety light curtain, this video will come up. I didn't really want to bring it up now because it's kind of long and um, some probably better off to watch by yourself. But here are some slides where it shows the hammer whacking the light curtain right there for the 50 G's worth of force, which is good to show how exactly how do we handle uh, tough applications like on a big old 200 ton press where they're stamping out parts and the, and the light curtain's just taking all kinds of vibration all day long. And then the temperature stability here, you know, negative 10 degrees centigrade up to plus 60, so can handle your heat and uh, it's just with those dete those detecting distances I talked about, we're able to burn through quite a bit of dust and dirt in the area. Now, keep in mind, this is a safety device, so it is monitored a lot more than a standard photoelectric, so you still have to be wary of that. But the video does show how we can handle uh, quite a bit of dust and dirt in the area and does show how much of a robust light curtain this actually is. And coating, I discussed um, what that is. Is when you have an a when you have a pairs of light curtains aligned in a fence style. Let's say what you don't want is the emitter to interfere with any other of the light curtains that may be in that fence line. So what what we offer here at Phil's is to put them basically on separate channels so they won't interfere. So you would have one pair of light curtains on a code channel A or frequency, and then another pair of light curtains on a code ch channel B. And then that way, when they're in that, say, fence line application, there won't be any interference. And so that's something else we offer uh, in the PSEN Op 2. And moving along, please remember all your accessories that could be possible with the light curtains you may need, such as a protective column. So if you have an area where you don't really mount the light curtain directly to it, maybe you just want to build the fence and mount it to the floor, you can use this column with this adjustable base on the bottom, which would make it really easy to mount into the floor. And this adjustable base comes with little springs. So if it were to take a hit by, say, a forklift truck or something, it could actually bounce back into place and possibly still be in alignment. Also, uh, as an accessory, you could fit a muting lamp on top of it as well. So keep that in mind. And moving along to uh, another accessory for light curtains, uh, if you may need it, um, we offer a mirror column. And what this does is in this application, you can see here, 
you have an, emit an emitter right here bouncing off a couple mirrors and then back to the receiver. So instead of having multiple pairs of light curtains, you have one pair bouncing off mirrors. Here's what a mirror column would look like. Uh, keep in mind with all mirrors, you do lose detecting distance when you bounce off a mirror. But with pills, we have an industry best of just a 10% reduction of detection, detecting distance loss. So that means you can, with our light curtain, have a, uh, a longer field of uh, protection. And then last but not least, keep in mind, all of our light curtains do come with brackets. But if you need a few more uh, brackets, we offer a few more that you can get. Uh, we also offer, as an accessory, this laser pointer, which mounts to the front of the light curtain. But you want to keep in mind, you may need for those longer distances um, when you need to align the light curtain. Um, all light curtains, no matter who they are, have a plus or minus five degrees. That's just how light curtains meet the safety standards as a device, which I won't get into in detail, but just keep that in mind. All light curtains have a plus or minus five degrees of, of say, flexibility and alignment. So keep in mind, we do offer a laser pointer that could help you with that. And then we have the test pieces right there for your safety distance calcul calculations you could order as well. Uh, moving on to the PSEN op slimline. The slimline is meant for a smaller light curtain that say instead of building a, a guard perimeter or, or a safety fence perimeter, maybe you want to fit it right into the machine. You want a, a, a smaller light curtain maybe to be a part of the machine. So this would be the light curtain to go to and over the PSEN op 2, which is a bigger, more robust light curtain. It comes in finger and hand protection. The finger resolution, again, is four, 14 millimeter, pretty standard with most finger protection. But the hand protection is 24 millimeter. And what that does is that, that little bit of uh, reduction there in the beam spacing helps you out with your safety distance calculation and possibly could get you closer to the machine, depending on how that calculation works out. Um, again, with the reaction time, that would help out with that as well. And also, no dead zones in this light curtain. So the big thing about uh, no dead zones, as you see in this application right here, I was talking about how it could possibly fit in with the machine right there. Nice and sleek, fits right in, looks like a part of the machine. But with both the cascading option, where this is light curtain, linked together by a cable with no dead zone so you wouldn't have to mount say you know some kind of stanchion or pole in the middle of each one it's all just one beam array with three separate cascading light light curtains so and it, it also a possible benefit to this is you could have one light curtain one size for all, all your applications in your plant and whenever you need one you just cascade it together. And again, here's another application for a machine of how the PSEN op slimline would fit into, say, a smaller machine and just become a part of it and create your safety light curtain array there. Could be a semiconductor machine, a packaging machine, some kind of small electronic assembly, something like that. So again, that, that's just an example of what the PSEN slimline op could do for you. And then moving on to the PSEN op advanced. The PSEN op advanced is meant for your advanced applications you can get into with a light curtain, such as muting, blanking, or cascading. And again, the same feature with this one, no dead zone. Um, it comes in a type two and type for a uh, light curtain. And then we also offer uh, this PSEN op configurator setup software because these advanced fiction, excuse me, these advanced functions are set up in the light curtain. The PSEN op configurator helps you 
with setting those up. And then some of the advanced functions you get with the PSYN Opt Advanced are muting. And so here is an example of what a muting application would look like. You have this machine where you have the light curtains on the side right here. And then you and then integrated are the are wired into the light curtains are these photoelectric sensors. And what muting does is it allows product or say a box to go through. But if a person tried to reach their hand with this setup, it would detect the person and not the box. And moving on to the next advanced function with the PSEN opt advanced light curtain is blanking. So we have both fixed blanking here on the top and floating blanking. And what fixed blanking does is it allows you, based on your risk assessment and what you want to do and what you're allowed to do, is just to blank a part of the light curtain. So say a conveyor and product on the conveyor could go through, but yet a person or, or somebody tried to reach in when they're not supposed to, they would detect them. So that is a fixed blanking. You also, that can be done with a teach in function. And then moving on to floating blanking, what that looks like here in this application, we say you have a roll of steel or a roll of paper. And so that roll is going to move up and down as, as the roll gets, you know, towards the end. So you can blank one, two, or three beams within the light curtain. So as that roll unwind moves up and down within the light curtain, um, it is allowed to do so. And again, with all light curtains, please remember your accessories, uh, the mirror columns, um, the columns themselves, the adjustable bases. This also, we, we offer IP69 protective housing. If you ever end up in any food grade plants or anything like that. And really, this was a short and sweet presentation. Uh, appreciate all of your time. And I will go ahead and turn this back over to Ben Harper and he will go ahead and close the training for us. Okay. Thank you very much, Rick. I appreciate it. And I appreciate everybody's attention too. That was uh, good information for all of us. If you have any additional questions or if you'd like to reach out to your local sales engineer or your local distributor, please uh, feel free to do so. If you're not sure who that is, uh, you can reach out uh, to PILS at our Inside Sales Department and they would be able to help you at InsideSales at PillsUSA.com or they can be reached at our office. That number is 734-354-0272. Again, or just a quick reminder that this was part three of a 15-part series. So I hope that you will plan on joining uh, the additional trainings that we have going on. And I thank everybody very much for your time. Have a good day.